Hi! So what I wanted to do today was sort of show you some things that I got over the weekend. I went to visit my great aunt Catherine and she showed me all of her quilts that she has made over the years and um, some fabrics and stuff that she has collected and I actually came home with some stuff so I just wanted to show you that and then on Sunday I went to visit my parents and I came home with a vintage sewing machine so I am super excited and I just I want to share it with you guys and I want you guys to see everything that I got so this is the stuff that I got from my great aunt on Saturday so starting with these fabrics we have this scalloped cotton here it's kind of cute um this is a hanky it's got a B on it I think that's for her daughter this is another hanky also has a B on it um this is sort of like I don't really know what to call this it's not like burlap but it's sort of linen-y feeling I don't know what this is but these are just tiny little scraps so this fabric here I think is absolutely gorgeous and she has another six yards of it at her house and I wanted I want it <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I want this fabric so much because I want to make a dress out of it but she gave me this much so I have a little bit for whatever I want to use it for this fabric here my brother gave me or my brother asked me to take because he wants a tie made out of it so Mimi G Sewing Academy is eventually going to teach me how to make a tie so I guess I'm going to make a tie for him out of this this has dragonflies on it it is two yards and two inches and it's like this green dragonfly fabric and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet but I think it's kind of cute this here these are tiny little hearts you can see those it's so pretty I'm kind of excited to do something with this I'm not sure what yet this minty green fabric it doesn't look minty green on the camera but I promise it's minty green and it's really cute um, and then this is blue and red and those are just scraps and then over here we have this double wedding ring pattern yay it's a whole it's a whole pattern it's got math and words and layouts and all sorts of things so I guess I have to figure out how to do that but we also have in nope, this box she's got another wedding ring pattern and then some pieces and these are pieces some they've already been cut out some of them have already been pieced together and these are pieces that haven't been this is that other this is that fabric that I really really like and is pretty um so yeah I'm going to take these pieces I suppose and make this or at least I'm going to try then what we have over here is more pieces this is a pinwheel block that she has already pieced together I am these fabrics are very old and I am NOT about trying to fit them into my machine so what I'm gonna do is hand piece them because you can already you can tell see if I can oh you can't really tell the camera doesn't oh there it is you can tell that these have been hand pieced not machine pieced so we have 
all these triangles, various patterns. I really like these flowers, and I like this paisley, and I like, oops, these purple flowers too. I think they're really cute. And then we have smaller triangles because, ladies and gentlemen, what we have over here is an unfinished quilt top. That's right. We have this quilt top. It is quite large and it is not finished. And it is my job, my task, to finish this quilt top with these pieces here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that because I have never... This is such a gift, you guys. I, The fact that she gave me her unfinished quilt top and all of these pieces that she has so lovingly cut out and these fabric scraps, it's really, really a gift. So I want to honor, you know, what she gave me here and do it quote, right, I guess. So I'm going to really try to do what I can with this. And I always feel like I don't want to handle it too much because I always feel like it's just going to like fall apart in my hands. So yeah. Anyway, these are the things that I got from my great aunt when I went to visit her on Saturday. So this is my Singer 223. The owner's manual is dated 1966. So this machine is at least that old. And it has, it came with this belt here, but I had to get a new one because this is useless. Um, this is the bobbin cover, and then this is the bobbin. It came with a bobbin that already had thread in it, but it's like two different colors because it's so faded, so there's that. This machine was given to my parents by a friend of mine at least 12 or 13 years ago, and it's just been sitting in their spare bedroom, and they haven't used it. So Sunday, I went to their house, and I brought it home with me. It's heavy. It's all made of metal and it is so, so very heavy. Um, this is the hand wheel. It makes the needle go up and down because as you know, hand wheels do and the motor actually works. I didn't think that it would work, but it does. So once I get the belts for it, I also got a new one of these belts. So once I get the belts for it, I just put those on and I should be good to go. So this is my latest find and I love it so much and I hope that it works because I'm super excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry this is, I haven't posted for a little a longer than I usually wait just because I'm kind of lazy <laughs> and I had just been I had had all this stuff sitting up here since Saturday and I'm like, ugh, I don't, I don't want to go upstairs. I don't want to film a video, but I want to show all my friends everything that I got. So, so here we are and I hope that you enjoyed that and I hope you're doing well and I will see you next time. Bye.